Hello, friends. I'm Mike Fuchella. I'm the minister here in Bigger, in Cooter, and in Blackmount. I'm also the chaplain in your school. Usually, this time of year, I'd be coming into school and we'd have a harvest assembly where we'd talk about the change in seasons and the harvest that's going on all around us. But sadly, this year, I can't come into your school because of this coronavirus. But you can come here to church. I'm making a video here in Bigger Kirk, and you are welcome here to church. Now, usually during a harvest assembly, we'd be talking about the harvest. We'd be talking about the change in seasons. But this year, I'd like to talk to you about rainbows. What is a rainbow? What is a rainbow? Well, there's a scientific answer to that question, and then there's an answer that the Bible gives us. And both of the answers to this question, the one from the Bible and the scientific one, are fascinating and important. First, let's look at the scientific answer to the question, what is a rainbow? Did you know that you can make a rainbow? Let me show you. What I need is a light. There's my light. And I need this thing that you can shine the light through at an angle. And so I've got what we call a triangular prism. It's a prism that we use to shine the light through to make a rainbow. And then I need a white cloth or a white background to shine onto to show you a rainbow. So let me try that. So I've got my light. I've got my prism and I've got my white cloth here. Let's see if we can make a rainbow. There's one, do you see it? Well, I've made something that looks a bit like a rainbow, not quite as impressive as a rainbow. It's the same thing that was happening here happens when a rainbow happens in the sky. There's light, there's the sun, and then there's something that the light passes through, not a prism, but raindrops or droplets of water. And then there's something that the light can shine on, which is the sky on the other side of the rain droplets. So that's the scientific answer of the question, what is a rainbow? There's also another answer to the question, what is a rainbow? And that answer is found in a story in the Bible. Have you heard of this guy named Noah? Have you heard of his story? Maybe you've played with an ark that has lots of animals in it. That comes from this story of Noah. And God told Noah that a terrible flood was going to happen, but he also told him how to keep safe. He told Noah to gather up all the animals that he could find and put them along with his family in a giant boat called an ark. And that's what Noah did, just as God told him. God promised Noah, I'm going to look after you and keep you, your family, and all of these animals safe. It might be tough for some time, but in the end, everything is going to be okay, God told Noah. When Noah, the animals, and his family had got into the ark, the rains came pouring down. It rained, pouring down for 40 days, and 40 nights. It rained so much that the ark started to float. Everything around them started to look like a vast ocean. The ark floated above the trees and above even some of the hills. I wonder, how would you have felt if you were Noah or one of the animals or one of Noah's children? I think at first I might have felt a bit like it was an adventure. I would have felt a bit excited getting into a giant boat with all those animals. 
But then as the ark went up and down, up and down on the water day and night with the smell of all those animals, I think I would have felt a bit seasick. I think I might have started to get a little frightened and worried after a while. I might have started to think, what would happen if we got a hole in this ark? What was going to happen when the food ran out? You see, if there is no land, there is no place to collect food, especially for all these animals. And maybe some of these animals would like to eat me if they got hungry enough. But after 40 days, the rain stopped. And after a few more days, the water began to flow away. And finally, the ark came down on dry ground with a bump. They opened the door to the ark and they saw a blue sky and they saw green grass and they saw the trees. How do you think everyone was feeling at this point? I don't know about you, but I would have felt relieved. I would have done a big sigh like this. <sighs> That's often what we do when we feel relieved, isn't it? Can you do a big sigh for me? The animals went free. Do you know what Noah did? Noah remembered that God had promised to keep them safe in the ark and he had done just that. So Noah said, thank you God. And God was really pleased that Noah had thanked him. And here is where the rainbow comes into the story. God said, Noah, Look at the rainbow up there in the sky. Sure, it comes from refracted light and all that, but I want you to see it as a sign. I want you to see it as a sign of a promise I am going to make with you today. Never again is there going to be a disaster like this flood. And God said, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. The rainbow is a sign of hope. Hope that even when things seem really bad, like in this time of coronavirus, we will get through them. God gives us his promise. I don't know about you, but I've been seeing loads of rainbows lately. And every time I see one, I remember this story and I remember that even though there are lots of clouds in life, there is still lots to be thankful for. And I remember God is good and that he has promised that no matter how tough things are at the moment, God will take care of us. So that's what a rainbow is. Scientifically, it is light refracted through raindrops, splitting up colors in the sky. And according to the Bible, it is God's promise in which we can put our hope. I wonder if you guys will do something for me. Can you make rainbows for me? Maybe rainbows with clouds at either end and then write or draw around the rainbow all the things that you are thankful for. And maybe your teachers can take a photograph of your pictures and share them with me. And I'll share them on Facebook with our communities to let people know that we are thinking about them at this time and we are hoping for all the best for all of us. Let me bless you to end. May God's rainbow of promise give you hope and rest over all of us today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen.